This is Joe Rosanel with The Frontline with Joe and Joe. Once again, let us go into the breach. Many of us have been following and praying for Pope Benedict XVI, whose health made a turn for the worse since after Christmas. The Vatican recently reported that Benedict's condition is serious, but it's stabilized. So that's great news. So please continue to pray for the Holy Father. When I think of the pontificate of Benedict XVI, the thing that I think about mostly was his writings and words on absolute truth and relative. Relativism. Relativism, obviously, is where one determines their own truth or a society comes up with its own truth. We all know that Jesus Christ is the truth, the way and the life. He's not the custom. Benedict taught both in his writings and in his words that there is such a thing as absolute truth. Two plus two, it's four. It's four in the United States. Two plus two is four in the continent of Africa. It's four in Europe. It's four in South America. It cannot change. Sadly, that's the bedrock of Catholicism, which has been forgotten in many places. This is something I think we have to get back to, the basics, the truth. There is absolute truth. There is certain teachings and dogmas that cannot and will never change. No one can change them. And that is something that Pope Benedict XVI said and taught and wrote about. It's something I think we have to consider and reflect upon as a church. This is what he said, and I want to repeat it because I think it's so important because too many people settle for mediocrity. Benedict XVI said this, the world offers you comfort, but you were not made for comfort. You were made for greatness, greatness, all of us. That just doesn't mean the people who went to Harvard or fancy schools. It just doesn't mean people who were clergy, who went to the Gregorian. We are made for greatness. Why? Because we follow the greatest person who ever walked the earth, Jesus Christ. And with the grace of God and the sacraments, you can and will do great things. Why? Because Jesus Christ said said so. We have to believe that. Don't settle for mediocrity. Basically, be and who you were made to be, a disciple of Jesus Christ. What is that? A follower. Follow him to the end. Believe in absolute truth. Most importantly, live that truth. And if need be, suffer for it.